Hello, and welcome to another Mainframe Solution Systems Management quick course session brought to you by BMC. My name is Mike Frost, and I'm a senior software consultant with BMC focused in AMI Ops. In today's session, we'll be taking a look at creating a dashboard in the new AMI Ops monitoring GUI. Let's go ahead and get started. Creating a dashboard with the new AMI Ops GUI is quite easy. To do so, all we need to do is access our AMI Ops GUI. Once within the GUI, all we have to do is go to the three buttons here, click on them, and then select New Dashboard. Once we have clicked Create New Dashboard, we first need to give it a name. For this session, we'll call it Amy Ops Test, and the description will be Amy Ops Test. We can decide which group we want to add it to. For this section, I'll just add it to my Quick Access group. Next, all I need to do is click Save and Next. Once I've clicked Save and Next, I will then be asked to create a new widget. Under the Create a New Widget section, I can add a name. Here, we'll add a target group name. I'll just call this Test Target. Target. And then we have lots of options. We can set a certain context, or we can select from many different contexts. We have admin, CICS, all, multiple CICS regions. For this section, I'm going to go ahead and expand on the all. This shows me everything that's available under the all selection. So I'll go ahead and click select context. We see that that's now selected. And then we can go ahead and add the individual context that I want available. Like I said before, I'm interested mostly in CICS, so I'll go ahead and select all of the CICSs available to me. For this example, we'll choose these seven. And then we'll go ahead and click Save and Close. Now, as you can see, we have the seven test targets I was interested selected and added to our dashboard. If I want to add another context, I can go ahead and add an additional widget. Here we'll call this test two target. And for this selection, I will select all again. And I will just select BMC A, BMC B for CMF, as well as BMC A and BMC B for our Plex manager. Go ahead and hit save and close. And now we have our second test two target. If I want to save the changes that I've made, I simply go to Save Changes and click. And now my new dashboard has been created successfully. So as you can see, creating a dashboard is quite easy. If we wanted to change the dashboard that we just made, we could easily do so by going to Edit Dashboard. Or if we want to clone that dashboard and make another one, we could simply click Clone. Here, I'll edit the dashboard and add another widget. Here, again, we'll use the set of all. And I'm going to add some IMS selections. So I'll simply choose all the IMSs on BMC A. OK, there we go. Selected. Now save and close. Oop, have to give it a target name. We'll do target IMS. And we will save and close. And now we've added an additional widget. If we want to save, all we do is click Save Changes. Another nice feature of the Amy Ops GUI is that if we want to change our dashboard even more, we go back into Edit Dashboard and say there is a item on our test target that we no longer want. We can simply use the same process for editing by clicking these three dots and click Edit. We can delete it or we can clone it. For this, we'll drop one of the test targets. So we'll go down, we'll see all of our selections, we will deselect this item, and then we'll go to save and close. And now you can see we're only picking up six text test targets rather than the seven that we had before. So again, very easy to use. If we want to save our changes, we simply click save. And now our dashboard was saved successfully. Now, if we want to switch to a different dashboard, all we have to do is go up to the switch button here, click on it, and now we can see all of the different dashboards available to us under quick access. Here, I'll just simply go back to overview. And now we're back to our original view. 
So as you can see, creating a dashboard with the new BMC Amy Ops GUI is incredibly easy. It's a great one-stop shop for operations folks, as well as system programmers to get a gauge on what's going on within their systems. For more information on the BMC Amy Ops GUI, please reach out to BMC support or contact your local software consultant as they'd be happy to walk you through their tool. With that, I thank you for watching today's session and I welcome you to like and subscribe to the BMC YouTube channels for more information in the future. Thanks again for watching, have a great day.